Eric. Eric. Yes, nature? What's up? I need I you need to you become, become one, one with the with nature. nature. Listen, Listen to the new Winter Sorg album. album. I'm not doing anything else. I can do that. You're, You're all right, right then. then. Okay. So we have Vintersorg's 10th album. Vintersorg is a black folk metal band, one of the best in the genre as far as I'm concerned, at least as far as the early material oh, yeah. goes. OG shit. Yeah, uh, Odemark and Son, Tilfiels are two of the best folk black metal albums of all time. And then after that they took a little bit of an odd detour with uh, Visions from the Spiral Generator and they all might accidentally... God damn it. Okay. They took a bit of a detour with Cosmic Genesis in 2000 after the first two folk black metal albums, adding some prog elements, some spacey keyboard elements, and Visions of the, from the Spiral Generator sort of went in that same path, but we're back to a more folk metal sound with the last three albums before this, and they are really trying to make a point here by creating a sequel to their classic, one of the best folk black metal albums ever made, Till Fiel's. Here we have Till Fiel's Del 2. So it's a pretty ballsy move to try and create a sequel to one of the most highly regarded folk black metal albums of all time. And would I say it's as good as the original? No, not quite. There are some things that drag the album down to make it not quite as great as its predecessor. So really, number one, um, when you really look at this album, it, it spans two separate discs. It's a huge, sweeping album over an hour long uh, with a lot of content, a lot of detours, but I think the biggest concern that the, the listener might have is that there's not really enough quality songwriting throughout two CDs. Uh, it really needs to be condensed down into just one really good CD. And it just seems like he wrote and he wrote and he wrote, and maybe the inspiration wasn't quite there. Uh, I know his best CDs, Vintersorg's best CDs, uh, widely regarded are those progressive albums, and he's even talked about how those are his favorite albums in his back catalog. Uh, I don't feel like all the charisma, the passion is there from that earlier release, and I totally understand that. Uh, he's making a sweeping series of concept albums based on all the different elements, and then he decides to come back and revisit his folkier, more uh, basic nature, um, but it just doesn't click, it doesn't fire on all cylinders like that original CD does. Uh, there's a lot of downtime, and that's a big problem considering it's just a huge album. Uh, a lot of this just becomes monotonous over time, and while the singles were really good, they were great singles, they were some of the best black folk metal songs that I've heard all year. Uh, it's just that nothing really measures up to those two songs. There's maybe a handful of songs on here that are truly fantastic songs in general. The other thing I have to say is the, the mixing isn't very good. There's, the volume levels aren't very good. It's overly compressed overall. I remember hearing the singles on YouTube thinking, wow, this is just kind of... It just has that loudness issue that mm -hmm. a lot of albums like Death Magnetic has. It's very or, abrasive sound, yeah, unpleasant at times. It's a bit abrasive. It doesn't sound as organic as a lot of the albums, especially the earlier albums in yeah. his discography. And that hurts it a lot, especially an album that's kind of have, trying to have a another element to it, a folky, atmospheric element that, that kind of damages it a bit. Yeah, nobody's saying that they need to go back to, like, analog equipment. I don't need you to filter your fucking VHSs through a cassette and then you know, rewind that over a vinyl player or something. It just needs to sound more organic, a little quieter, a little softer. Let those melodies really uh, ebb and flow. Make it sound beautiful and uh, less digital and quantified. And that, that really, it just, it pains me to, to hear something way back then kind of modernized and uh, not in all the right ways at all. Yeah, there are plenty of good melodies here and there, but a lot of them are just they don't hit as hard as they could with how they're so plasticky and processed. Yeah. 
It's really not a bad album overall, though it does have some negatives, and it does have a lot of downtime. Uh, the songwriting doesn't hold up all the time. Uh, I will say that when it really picks up, and when it really hits the nail on the head, it feels very triumphant, very over-the-top, very just orchestral and grandiose. It really does feel like somewhere there is a burly-ass Viking wandering through a snowy alpine, just bungling the shit out of some deer. Uh, there are just some, some oxen being just strong-armed up a cliff somewhere, and it's just, it's just incredible when everything is set in motion. Um, I, I just feel like there's not a whole lot else this year, besides maybe the, the more recent Have a Crew new CD that came out this year, that can really hold a candle to what Venture Sorg is still doing on this album. Even though it, it's just not as consistent as it could be, he still does have it. The songwriting can and will just get to those upper echelons, those high hills and mountains, perhaps. Yeah, he's always been a very consistent songwriter. All the albums in his discography, I think the worst one is just okay, yeah. and the best ones are some of the best in the genre. In my opinion, the first three. But yeah, there are amazing songs here and there, but you just kind of have to slog through average songs, maybe two, three average songs, and you get to a great one, then two, three more average songs, then you get to a great one. And it just makes you wonder at the end, like, okay, why couldn't we have just cut out a lot of the bad stuff. Right, trim that down. Yeah, the album's so long. And I don't mean bad stuff, it's not bad. No, it's not bad at all. It just doesn't really do anything from a, a musical standpoint, from a atmospheric standpoint, which is kind of the purpose of folk-tinged black metal. Yeah. Track number one and four are the best songs, and I don't speak Swedish, so I'm not going to try and totally decimate the pronunciation of them. But they're the two singles, and if you want to check this album out, I would give those a shot. Those songs are amazing. They're some of the best in his discography, and as soon as I heard them, I was like, holy shit. If he, they're really good. If you can keep the consistency up through the entire album, this is going to be one of the best folk black metal albums I've ever heard. And other than track number six, Vinter Storm, I don't really think it's able to hit those highs as much. Yeah. But those, those three songs are definitely some of the best songs that I think he's put together compositionally. He just really he just really hits every single note that you really want out of a black folk metal song. Uh, it's got they've got all these great melodies, just all this sweeping orchestration, instrumentation, uh, and even when the mix is not quite up to snuff, you can tell that his intentions are fairly good. Even though not all the songs on here are totally up to snuff, I do have to hand it to the lead songwriter here. Uh, Homeboy Venture Sword, he has some of the best cleans I think I've heard on a folk metal CD in quite a while. Uh, they're very crisp, they're very clear, they're very loud, they're very epic and brazen. Uh, his conviction when he gets on a microphone, uh, he's just got so much passion. Hey, he sounds just like every word that he puts out here just has so much conviction. Even though I have no idea what he's saying because all the lyrics are in a language that I will never ever translate. I, I can't I just have to give it to him for really uh, bringing together this world creating this realm uh, all of his own uh, it just it just holds a completely different level than really anything else that's come out this year the last couple years uh, really elevates a lot of this average material up at least a little bit of another tier so overall, uh, not a bad album at all. Not a great album. I mean, it had so much potential. Those singles were absolutely incredible. I, I had this feeling, I had this distinct feeling that this album was going to be something truly spectacular and honestly, it kind of disappointed me in a lot of aspects. The mixing isn't great. Everything feels overly compressed. There's so much downtime and monotony just all over the place. Um, but, I mean, it does have its highlights here and there. Um, Eric, what would you give an album like this? I'll probably give it a six. I, I kind of have to knock it because Till Fjells, the original, is the reason I got into more extreme metal, folk black metal, that sort of odd thing that isn't big in America. Yeah. I heard the title track and thought, this is amazing. Like, the keyboard intro with the baritone folk singing mixed with the black metal was something I'd never heard before. Oh, yeah. So it's a very special album to me. But this one... It just doesn't have the consistency, and the best moments on this one are kind of borrowed in some way from that album. So I've got to give it a six. It's it's not a terrible album, like we said. There's some highlights here and there, but it's just it doesn't really hold the candle to the oldest material. Yeah, I totally agree with all of that. Uh, though I'd personally uh, give it a seven. 
I feel like even at its lowest lows, it does still come across as a totally passable black and folk uh, metal album. It does have some incredible highs, and there are moments on here where I'm like, there's nobody else doing music that, that really is this sweeping and soaring. Um, it, just, it just fails to impress on a lot of levels, um, and I think that's really all there is to it. So, six, seven, um, just uh, leave it at that. Uh, if you really want to listen to the album, just listen to the two singles. You don't have to listen to this whole album. There's no reason to. You, you don't, you, you, get it, you get it all in the singles, you get in, you get out, and then you live your life, you, uh, you have a great time. You have children and a house, and you send those little fucks to college, and then you, uh, you coast. You coast until uh, you die in your 60s from lung cancer, and that's, that's really all there is to it. So, as always, um, I'm David. I'm Eric. And, uh, Thanks for being part of a process that no one really gives a shit about. My other issue is I can't pronounce any of the fucking songs on this goddamn album. It's bullshit. I don't even know how to talk about this. Alt Melon Himmel Achvor. Yeah. What Come is on, that? big money venture sword. Garden. What's going on? Speak English or die. Yeah, get out of my 